What was the first time you beat John? Like when did that came about? The first time three, three, I three beat, years ago in Moldova. <laughs> first time I beat John. And that's a good question because it happened a bunch. Well, right in a small time frame, like the best did, damn, did the best happen, damn army. How many ass whoopings like have you taken before that from him? Did it happen right up like? I probably lost eight times before I ever beat him. Okay. And I'm talking eight different events. I may have lost 16 times. <laughs> Or I may have lost to other people that he was beating too. That's awesome. You know what I mean? I mean, the motherfucker was awesome. So well, I'm just thinking probably, like you actually individually gripping up with him at the event. Like, okay. I'm probably owing 15 to start. Gotcha. Everything. Owing 12. I don't know. And then I caught him at a time where he was at 198. And I was and I was big. But I mean, I bet you, I'll bet you we've pulled. 50 times and that he's won 25 legitly, probably lost five legitly and lost 20 just doing the show. Okay. <laughs> so think about that. So if you take out the 20 that he just gave me for promotional purposes, then it's probably 25 and five. So, well, I see. And it could be, listen, could be 28 and two. I'd have to, I don't know. Like, he was very generous uh, when so, it came to uh, to work in the event. I got you. So those couple. So if you see me cracking him, good chance that he is, that he, that's for sure. All right, so those two legit pins in Moldova, and maybe one of them when he was 198. Moldova was a definite fake. Nah. Yeah, yeah, like, Come now, on, listen, man. Let, me, let me pay attention to what I mean by fake. Okay. If Lindsay takes a match with me right now, All right. and she, she doesn't fake it, But she loses. Hmm. That's John being in that condition and willing to take the match. To me, it's him giving the match. I got you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, and already told, yeah, motherfucker, we all know that you ain't in our wrestling shape. I'm not really in our wrestling shape either, but I happen to be way stronger than you today. Let's Let me give you this $8,000 and let's go do this. I don't give a fuck if you try or don't try. Like to me, that's him giving me the mess. I got you. I got you. Yeah. So yeah, it could be. Yeah. I know that, that the one best damn sports show, um, John Ferguson was trying to, um, he didn't like the way that I was stealing the show. So he offered this $2,000 um, for me and John to do an overall right after the tournament, right? John won the 220s, I won the supers, it's all good. But I, I knew I was so strong, like I was so strong. And I know John probably still thought that he was going to be able to, and he could have even won the 98s. I don't know. But the fact is, is, he was not convinced that I was way stronger than him, even though it was not close. Um, okay. So once, so because he didn't know that he wasn't close, when John Bergson offered the $2,000, he said, um, he said, yeah, I'm in. And I was like, so I took him to the side. I'm like, yeah, you gonna, we're gonna split the money. He's like, oh, we don't have to do that. I'm like, well, we at least got to do something. Like, so it ended up, I don't know if he said it or I said, but it was 17-3, right? So it was a bad split. 
Okay. But it was a flip because he was being greedy. Right? So in other words, even if I lose, we're not just going to give all the money to one of us. Okay. And we've already won a couple grand anyway, maybe even five grand. Because it was on it was on ESPN at the Mohegan Sun. Yeah, seven can three makes no sense. Like <laughs> Yeah, for, for I, all I remember is that when it was all said and done, I gave him three hundred dollars. Um and you know, there could have been some, I don't even know, but I just that's what I remember about the deal. But I remember him not just being a little snark about just splitting it. And I'm like, this motherfucker. Like, I am so strong right now. And I ended up cracking him in the twice pretty easy in the overall. And I know that I was just too big. He was too small. But he was trained up. So I believe that I ain't 100% about that. And you'd have to ask him. But I'm not sure a clock did or a, or a light didn't turn on that day. And he became... A 245-pound beast after that. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, you know, got some wins, I'm sure, on me after that. But they were few and far between when we were older because there was always a skit. So if you see it, just don't judge him too harshly. He's being a really nice guy I if you see me cracking him. All right, well, f- f- 